humans have been exploring space for as long as we can remember, and we've always made a mess. Thousands of dead satellites orbit our planet, along with bits of debris from all the rockets we fired throughout the years. This could pose an issue in the future. The Department of Defense's Space Surveillance Network, SSN sensors, track over 27,000 bits of orbital debris, or space trash. Much more debris occurs in the near-Earth space environment, which is too small to be tracked, but large enough to endanger human spaceflight and robotic missions. Space debris is any human-made object left by humans in space. It includes both natural meteoroid and artificial orbital debris. Meteoroids orbit the sun, while most artificial debris orbit the Earth. Artificial space debris includes non-functional spacecraft, abandoned launch vehicle stages, mission-related debris, and fragmentation debris. Some human-made debris has been left on the moon, too. There are around 23,000 pieces of debris larger than a softball orbiting the Earth. They travel at 17,500 miles per hour, fast enough for a small piece of orbital debris to cause damage to a spacecraft or satellite. Half a million pieces of debris are the size of a marble or larger, up to 0.4 inches or one centimeter, and around 100 million pieces of debris about 0.04 inches, one millimeter and larger. Even more micrometer-sized debris, 0 .000039 of an inch in diameter, exists. Even tiny paint flecks can cause damage to a spacecraft when traveling at such high speeds. Several space shuttle windows had to be replaced due to damage caused by a material that was later identified as paint flecks. Millimeter-sized orbital debris poses the greatest threat to most robotic spacecraft in low Earth orbit. Unfortunately, collisions produce more debris, resulting in a chain reaction of collisions and debris known as the Kessler syndrome, after Donald Kessler, the man who first identified the problem in 1978, he said that if there was too much space debris in orbit, it could result in a chain reaction where more and more objects collide and create new space debris in the process, eventually rendering the Earth's orbit unusable. Fortunately, space debris does not now pose a significant threat to our exploration endeavors. Its greatest threat is to other satellites and spacecraft in orbit. Space debris may or can hit and perhaps damage or destroy the spacecraft and satellites. To avoid all these, spacecraft and satellites must move out of the way of all this incoming space debris. Every year, hundreds of collision avoidance maneuvers are performed by all satellites, including the International Space Station, ISS, where astronauts live. Debris avoidance maneuvers are planned when the collision probability from a conjunction reaches limits set in the flight rules used to operate the space station and the spacecraft used to transport humans and cargo to and from the station. If the chance of colliding with the space station is greater than 1 in 100,000, a maneuver will be performed if it will not have a substantial impact on mission objectives and it will not pose an additional risk to the crew. Debris avoidance maneuvers are typically minor and take place one to several hours before the conjunction. Using the station's Russian thrusters or the propulsion systems on one of the docked spacecraft, such maneuvers with the space station take around five hours to plan and execute. Since 1999, the International Space Station has carried out 29 debris avoidance maneuvers, including three in 2020. Several companies are developing massive new groups of satellites, known as mega constellations, that will transmit the internet down to Earth. SpaceX and Amazon are among the companies planning to deploy thousands of satellites to provide global satellite internet service. 
If successful, a further 50,000 satellites might be launched into space. This also means that there will be a lot more collision avoidance maneuvers performed. The European Space Agency executed its first satellite maneuver to avoid colliding with a mega constellation in September 2019. Having to dodge active satellites is very unusual. We can reduce space junk in the future by ensuring that satellites are removed from orbit in a fair amount of time once they are no longer operating. The orbit of the Earth allows us to study our planet, communicate, and more. It is critical that we use it responsibly so that future generations can benefit from it as well. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.